We're very excited to work with, with Roku in the OTT space. They're a, a one-stop shop for premium inventory, and what they really bring to the table is also the ability for us to do some advanced targeting um, through, through the platform that we really don't have access to with other partners in the space. So tell us a little bit about that, you know, what that'll mean to your clients and buying opportunities that it presents. Sure. I mean, OTT, historically, some of the issues that I think have uh, inhibited clients from going into this space has been measurement, has been targeting. It's very tricky in this space right now. Um, and what's really great about working with Roku is because they're able to authenticate their users, we can pair that with our proprietary data stacks and go into the space to target on a more sophisticated level. Um, historically, it's been based on behaviors or what content people are consuming, which really isn't as telling as some of the signals we get in the digital space. So working with Roku, it's a step in that direction. So tell us about the kind of inventory that you're hoping to buy uh, on, on the network channels in particular. Sure, so we work with our network, our TV partners um, in the OTT space directly, a lot of them. But what Roku does is also finds a way to aggregate a lot of that premium inventory so that we can access it through them directly. Moreover, um, the broader OTT world, there's a huge movement by consumers, as we all know. Um, but as an advertising environment, it's still a little bit nascent. And you alluded to some of the issues about data, what are some of the other issues and where do we stand in having OTT as a really robust advertising environment for the buy side? Sure. I think it's on the way there. Um, historically, there's been some challenges in the data space and I think people knew in their gut that consumers were going there because we were going there. People were using these apps and these devices to watch things. but. Um, recently, the data started to catch up to tell us that people are actually there. Nielsen's put out some, some new numbers. Um, so I think that we're starting to see that it's not as nascent as people think. I would say it's, it's mainstream now. Um, and now that we're in the place where we are able to measure, we're starting to see that better. I think the next step will be able to see OTT consumption coupled with TV, and then we'll really start to see where there's duplication and, and how much OTT is bringing to the plate that we're not getting in other channels. Great. and. Um is there any difference in terms of advertising form factor, units, length, ad load with OTT versus television and how do you see that? I think a lot of the reason that people like OTT is because it is very much like linear um, as opposed to mobile or tablets where people are certainly consuming a lot of video. The experience in OTT is very much like a linear experience. You're still in your living room, you still have a big screen, you're still co-viewing with your family and friends. And so for that reason, I think that linear uh, OTT rather really does bring something different to the table than what we've seen in desktop and mobile. Um, the ad experience is very similar. You're still watching it in a pod in the middle of your content um, in addition to some other opportunities with first impression units. Cool, and um, finally in terms of the TV world and buying and looking at the uh, TV upfront in a few months and mm -hmm. you know, how do you see things changing? Uh, what parts of the mix will change in terms of opportunities that the media agencies have in the TV world? I mean, that's a very general question, but <laughs> maybe you have some thoughts on that. Well, it's no secret that some of the ratings have been declining. It, do, it does not at all mean that we're giving up on TV. We are big believers in TV. Um, that's not changing anytime soon. But I think it does mean that at agencies, we have to work harder to find consumers where they are. We can't just say we're just going to throw it in this channel and hope it's been working like it's been working historically. Um, it's fragmented. It's not easy to measure at all. It's not easy to plan at all, but we're being very diligent about how we're finding consumers so that we can solve our advertisers' business problems. Amanda, so let me ask you about the deal with Google and YouTube and uh, what that means and uh, you know the opportunities uh, that you guys have, what that means for your clients. Yes, yeah, so last year going into the upfront, we made a big announcement about how we were doubling down with YouTube and specifically the Google Preferred products. We're very proud about that announcement. Um, it's been going very well for our clients. The goal there was really to find, again, consumers where they are as we see uh, linear ratings declining. So going into this next year, I think our story stays the same. Um, there's new chapters to that story. Um, we're, we're constantly trying to innovate and find new ways to reach consumers. There may be new ad products that we're exploring in that space, but we still believe that the story holds true. Great, and what about um, performance metrics and sort of the value of the investment? Um, is that clear for you? Are the performance 
metrics there? Is the industry there? I wouldn't say they're there. I think it's a it's a challenge for many people. How do we take what we've been doing in TV or what we've been doing in digital or what we've been doing in mobile and, and normalize those metrics? And I'm not sure that we're there, and I'm not sure that we necessarily need to be there. I think there's an opportunity to look at clients' KPIs by channel, by tactic, and, and evaluate them in that way. Cool. And um, finally, what's um, interesting innovations that you're kind of excited about or in terms of emerging media that you might want to share with us? I think what I'm excited for is I see a lot of um, media partners in the space t starting to toy with um, attention-based metrics um, and things that are really based on whether people are engaging or how much time they're spending as a way to really hook advertisers and say and you know put their money where their mouth is and saying we're bringing people we're engaging them and we're going to start pricing based on that.